This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is this massive prison lock cylinder. It says Atom on it, but it's now the Folger Atom Company, which still makes these locks, and they are also still used in prisons. You really need to see this, though, next to a normal lock to fully appreciate how big both the cylinder and the key really is. They are both absolutely massive. Now, before we get to picking, I want to talk about these keys and what is horribly wrong with them. This lock actually did come from a prison, and though the keys are new, the bidding in the lock is original. It's master keyed, as are most of these, and a cardinal rule of master keying, particularly with restricted key blanks, is that the master key should always be physically larger than the operating key, at least in one or two positions. That way it's impossible to create a master key by filing down a normal key. Unfortunately, whoever set this prison up apparently never learned that lesson, because if we look at the operating key and the master key, the master key is smaller than the operating key in every position. But more concerning about this lock is the ease with which it can be picked open. Let me show you just how fast it is. Using this big fat Z bar, because I need something to fill that huge keyway up, and this wave rake. Wow, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. once again, in very, very quickly. Now, at first I thought I got in so easily because of bad bidding, so what I did was I pulled out another identical lock I have. This one came from a different prison and decided to try it on this one as well. Ah, this one does not have a backer, so I'm gonna need to, let's pick this a different way, keeping my finger over the front so this whole thing doesn't fall apart. once again, very, very quickly. Now, I'm not gonna go into how picks might be improvised in a prison setting for obvious reasons, but suffice it to say, it can be done, and this is an issue that really needs to be examined anywhere these locks are used. Okay, let's take one of these things apart so I can show you what's inside. Let's do this one, it's a little bit newer. And I can lock this up since I do have the keys. Let's start by taking those screws off the back. And here we can see the cylinder and the master ring. Let me show you why they have them. If I insert the operating key, you can see just that center cylinder turns. And then if I insert the master key, you can see that the cylinder and the master ring turns. That's a way to master key locks that doesn't, well, doesn't decrease security quite as much as normal master keying might. Now, since I don't have a follower this size, what I'm going to do is just slowly pull this cylinder out and hopefully I can manage to use the cylinder itself as the follower. Okay, so we have, this is slot five, so one, two, three, and it's normal to find that many pins because of the master cane. And that key pin doesn't want to fall out. We'll come back to it later. These are all standard pins. Last one. 
Okay, that was really greasy inside. This master ring should slide out after I get these springs. There's one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. There we go. Okay, let's see about getting these key pins out now. I think maybe the best way might be to push them out with a lock pick. And each one of these is going to have a ball bearing behind it. I just lost the ball bearing on slot one. And the reason they have that is because these locks are used an awful lot. And the key pins would wear down and the lock would stop working. So by putting a hardened ball bearing there, you make it such that the lock does not wear out quite as fast. You usually only find that on some higher end commercial locks, but these are obviously built to last. Not an awful lot to see in here. Okay, we're on to pin four, or chamber four. And chamber five. Okay, so not a whole lot to see in this lock. It's unfortunate the level of security here. However, there are options for replacing these locks with, for instance, acetwin cores that would be much higher security and would be very, very difficult to pick with improvised tools in a prison setting. And that's certainly what I think current users of these locks ought to look at. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.